origin of zero today everyone knows zero and it is not foreign to anyone but ancient people found it strange to think of nothing as something they knew the concept of nothingness but they did not know how to represent it so let us travel through the time capsule and see how nothing came into existence the first evidence we have of zero is from the Sumerian culture in Mesopotamia some 5000 years ago. They used cuneiform symbols that is a logosyllabic script that we used to write several languages of the ancient near east. The Mayans invented it independently approximately in 4 AD. Mayans developed zero as a placeholder and Mayan numeral system was used to represent numbers and calendar dates in the Maya civilization. The Mayans used eye-like character to represent zero, one as a dot and five as a bar. They had a base 20 system or vegesimal system and sometimes base 10 and 5. The Babylonians used a base 60 numeral system or sexagesimal. They did not have a digit for zero but they left a space for representing nothing. They even developed a clay tablet to help them count. But they had a problem. Their counting device resulted in symbol sequences representing different numbers. That is until they introduced a symbol for representing an empty space. Egyptians and Greeks used base 10 number system. The Egyptians used pictures while the Greeks used symbols to represent numbers. Both systems had problem in representing higher numbers as they required too many characters or symbols which repeated frequently. While the western civilization feared zero, the east embraced it. In India, Brahmagupta around 650 AD used dots underneath numbers to indicate zero. These dots were referred to as shunya, meaning empty, or ka, meaning place. He wrote standard rules for zero, like addition, subtraction, and multiplication. But he could not get his head around division. He did not introduce the second purpose of zero, that is, it can be used as a placeholder. Until another great Indian mathematician, Aryabhat, introduced zero as a placeholder. The oldest manuscript in Indian mathematics is Pakshali manuscript. We can see a small dot on the piece of birch bark which marks one of the biggest events in the history of mathematics. It dates back as early as the 3rd or 4th century. Then zero reached capital of Iraq, Baghdad by 773 AD. In the 9th century, Muhammad was the first to work on equations that equaled zero. He wrote a book on algebra and on calculations. The Italian mathematician Fibonacci brought the decimal system to Europe. His book, Libre Abasi, which means the book of calculations, was one of the first Western books to describe the use of Arabic numbers in complex calculations. This gained notice and the Italian merchants and bankers started using zero. Although the government did not trust the Hindu Arabic numeral system, but the merchants continued to use zero or cipher as they called in encrypted messages thus the word cipher meaning code was introduced. A famous mathematician René Descartes founded the coordinate system and used 0, 0 as origin. By the 15th century, Hindu Arabic numeral system had replaced Roman numerals in everyday life to become the most commonly used number systems in the world. In the 1600s, Leibniz and Newton solved the problem of dividing any number by zero. It is quite fascinating to think that nothing has made everything. Without zero, we won't have physics, chemistry, economics, computers and what not. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, do like, share and comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Brain TV for more fun and informative content. See you next time.